Hello folks, in the last video we created uh, an EC2 instance and then we also installed uh, the SIGWIN CYG WIN and then uh, we are ready to connect to the EC2 cluster. Now in order to connect to EC2 cluster we have to do a couple of things. The first thing is uh, uh, we have to copy the PEM file, the you know the public private key encryption file into the place where you have installed the SIGWIN. So it is SIGWIN uh, home the user and just put this file, just copy this file here, this file. Now once you have done that, go to SIGWIN and ensure that you are in the home directory and you are able to see the uh, the file, the AAPM. Please note that you would need to be familiar with some Unix scripting or Linux scripting if you have not then just follow this video and few commands uh, would uh, take you through. Now go back to the EC2 cluster on the Amazon Web Services and click on this connect. As soon as you click on connect it tells you step by step on how to connect. Uh, first of all you would need to do chmod 400 that means change the settings here. So let's run this command chmod 400 and you have to just you know do exactly what it's asking you to do it is done let's go back now it asks you to connect using this command so just copy and paste this command on the on the sigwin In order to fix that SSH error, uh, make sure that when you were installing the SSH, uh, also select the open SSH uh, server and client programs. If you don't do that, uh, it does not work. So SSH, make sure you install these two. Please note that uh, when we were installing the SIG SIGWIN for the first time, uh, we missed that step to inst include the open SSH. And that is why we had the error. Now let's try uh, this command so continue say yes and uh, it's permanently added and now um, we are connected to the the EC2 cluster you can see EC2 written over here and then uh, I can do PWD and uh, I am going to do ls uh, LART just to list the directory uh, we just had the bash. Now what uh, I'm going to do now is remember we have uploaded the data retailer file earlier on the on the S3 so I'm going to get that file from the S3 so let's do that in order to get the file from S3 so copy this link where you have uploaded this file and then uh, just write this statement statement uh, wget https ea retail and data stream retailer dot zip and uh, once you have written that just put enter and then it's going to be copied now i'm going to do lsart and you would see two files because i have done this one earlier i'm going to remove so now i have just one file now you would need to ensure that uh, you have to unzip this. So let's do unzip, unzip data stream dot zip. It's unzipped, and you would see a folder with the same name. So let's do again ls. You would see the retailer. Make sure you go into this directory because now we have to run the Python code. All this we are doing to ensure that we are able to run the Python code on EC2 cluster. So if you do ls, you would see uh, lsart. So you would see uh, the date, the web data generator retailer. So this is the Python file which we need to run. Now there are a few libraries uh, which you would need needs to inst need to install, and that is mentioned in the requirement dot text. So I'm going to do requirements dot text, and these are the files 
uh, the libraries which you need to uh, install. So in order to do that, um, let's quickly do all the libraries one by one. Uh, I'm going to show you, show you one example. You have to do sudo pip uh, install uh, faker. So it's going to install all these libraries. And again, I'm not going to show you uh, all the installations because it's going to be time consuming. Um, so make sure that all of these uh, libraries are installed uh, one by one, uh, slowly and slowly. Uh, all these files, lab libraries will be installed in order for the Python script to run. All right, uh, I'm going to install it. I'm going to pause the video and install it. Now that all the libraries have been installed, um, I'm going to do a vi web data generator dot retailer dot py. That is the file which I'm going to use to connect. Now, if you go in here, um, you would see a couple of things. So let's understand this code. So these are the libraries which you need to install in order for this to get running. So these are the libraries already installed now. Uh, please note that Kinesis connects to a region, US East region. In order for this connection to establish successfully, you have to validate a couple of things. So go to the EC2 and make sure that uh, the IAM role is enabled. If there is no IAM role enabled here, just say it's a dash. So what you can do is uh, go select your instance, go to actions and click on settings and say attach or replace IAM role. Make sure this role is able to connect to this EC2 instance. So here is how you can change. The second thing to note is that in the code here, uh, if you scroll down, it will ask for the, there is a place where it's going to put the record in a stream. So this is your Kinesis stream and you would replace this with your stream. So I'm going to create a stream. We'll call it as AA, AA retail uh, stream. I have not done that yet, but just put it and then we will create the stream. Uh, once this is done, uh, say WQ, that is AA retail stream. And I'm going to now create a stream in the next video. So we have got this uh, web generator retailer data all set. We have installed the libraries. We have uh, understood the Python code at a very high level. I'm going to walk you through that uh, maybe in the end of the video series. And uh, we have also enabled the IAM access role. Now what we have to do is coming back on here, uh, we have to create that stream so that this data can be put on the stream. So streams in the next video.